Let's face it, a lot of the negativity and hate that child-free women receive surprisingly comes from the male community. So what gives? What is up everybody? It is Kelsey with Diary of the Child Free and today I really want to open a discussion as to the reasons why so many men tend to hate on child-free women the most. While we do experience our share of negative comments from other women, I never really find it to be as belittling or degrading in comparison. Now from what I've experienced or seen from others, it's always men who try to say things like, you're ugly, you're incapable, you have a low IQ, no one will want to marry you, let alone stay with you, you'll get cheated on, and even the insinuation that myself and other child-free women should be put in camps. And I'll leave that up to your imagination as to the type of camps that they were more than likely implying. Did someone say red flag? This is misogynistic and honestly very dangerous behavior. What gets men like this so riled up over women, who they don't even know by the way, choosing not to be mothers? Here's what I think. Fragile egos have to be the biggest driver in this common issue. Many of us, regardless of gender, have more than likely come across this type of man sometime in our life. He is the one with an ignorant sense of superiority, uh, need to show off, be too perfect, overimpress women, and outdo other men. So what happens when there is an influx in child-free women who are independent, strong-willed, and challenge the status quo? Well, they become insecure and do the one thing that insecure people know how to do best, project those feelings that they're experiencing onto others. A child-free woman is essentially seen as a threat because we are the type of people who can't be controlled, manipulated, or even bossed around. Not to mention, we are self-reliable and don't require depending on a man for security. Child-free women aren't tied down even in marriage because we don't have children to think or worry about and essentially if we needed to or wanted to, we could leave at any time. Our relationships we choose to partake in take a lot more effort considering we don't want someone who just simply dumps a marriage, kids, a home on us and calls it quits in terms of that effort. Child-free relationships require a dedicated effort from both people as equals. It's an actual relationship and not so much a contract. It's safe to say that society has also wrongly misled men throughout the generations. Men are deemed the breadwinners by society, and this is seen depicted in so many books, TV shows, movies, other family members, as well as older generations. There is this unwritten expectation or pressure that they are supposed to be this strong force, a dependent, a leader, and any form of empathy, emotion, or even fear can be taken as a sign of weakness or a lack of stability. The type of men I see saying such horrible things to women don't know a life beyond this expectation that was given to them. And so it's understandably confusing to see a woman who is going off said path, who is happy being child-free, single, maybe both. It probably shatters our whole worldview. In their eyes, women should be textbook feminine, soft, nurturing, delicate, with a lifelong desire to be a mother. Anything else is an abomination. Now moving on, both men and women can be exceptionally hard workers, but more often than not, women tend to be deemed the weaker link in their careers due to motherhood. While women with kids can still be great workers, it's a given that they're gonna fall more to the pressure of having to raise and care for their children. And it's a lot easier to swindle women into difficult situations where they either have to put up with a lot more or accept less because it's either that or not have the means to provide or at least help provide for those children. Not to mention with the cost of children, many women tend to end up leaving the workforce eventually to become a stay-at-home mom. Now this leads to careers with child-free women who honestly are a force to be reckoned with. They have that same hunger, drive, passion as their male coworkers, only nothing is holding them back. And in a sense, there's not really a way to manipulate them. A lot of careers can be cutthroat, and to some men, being outperformed by a woman can lead to feelings of inferiority. And so, in their eyes, the less the merrier. I don't think I will ever understand the reasons as to why these type of men waste so much time getting so extremely salty over our personal decisions. 
but it only solidifies my choice even more considering these type of comments appear to come from some very unhappy individuals. And please, don't get me wrong, this video is not implying that all men are bad, because we all know that so many will be quick to jump on that train. This video is focusing in on a very select group of people, who many of us have seen, known, and more than likely experienced. So let me know what you think, and any additional thoughts or topics you would like to add. And if you'd like to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to stay posted, and as always, keep being authentically child-free. Mm -hmm.